What's up everybody, it's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part 7 of our let's play of Spyro the Dragon. In the last part, we took down the ice cavern, saved even more dragons, and now we are 24% done with the game. Still in the Peacekeeper's Hub, uh, but we're, we're making quite a bit of progress, uh, progress, and we're about ready to head into the Peacekeeper's boss level, which is Dr. Shemp, so... Hey, might as well get started on this right now. Um, the one thing I remember about Dr. Shemp is he is a slightly difficult... But he's definitely more difficult than the sheep thing that called himself Toasty. Why he called himself Toasty again, I don't even know. Um, oh, yeah, we got this one where we got these idiots. So we have... As we run around... The music just sounds really weird right now. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my head. No. Never mind. This is awesome music. I was just thinking about that. So we got these big mamas. They're not cooking anymore, so I guess I won't call them cooking mamas. They'll send these guys charging after you. They're wearing armor, so you cannot do any fire attacks against them. Um, but they also have armor on their faces. So if you don't kill them... They'll just run off of a ledge and kill themselves. So no matter what you do, as soon as they start running, they're dead. And you gotta be careful because they will be sent around corners like that. Well played, Cooking Mama. Well played again, Cooking Mama. I've got all of you. That was an impressive little feat I pulled right there. Okay, I am missing that one. He should have ran off a ledge right over here. I was correct. Unfortunately, there's no fodder in boss levels, as I've been informed, so I cannot get any, um... Can't get any butterflies for... Sparks, that's his name. There we go. Can't get any butterflies here for Sparks. But I can continue trying to get all the gems. And, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of flying here. Sparkly Lights of Awesome! I love the sparkly lights. All right, there should be over here. We got ourselves a purple gem worth 25, so there's some more. How many do we need in this one? 300 and a dragon. So let's go ahead and grab these right here. Key, key and four, uh, four of those. Not bad. All right, it's flying on up. I believe right through here. Should be our dragon as well as Dr. Shemp. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Hint. Hint. He should watch his back. I wonder if that was a hint or something. I don't know. Alright, I can't get back there. That kind of sucks. Oh well, let's take out Dr. Shemp and then we'll uh, worry about that last cooking mama. So Dr. Shemp has only a few attacks and it all depends on uh, what phase you're in. First phase as I have... I'm sorry, that animation, not, not the animation, but the sound effect for him getting hurt by a burn is hilarious. Uh, but his first attack is a simple downward attack. His second attack, his second phase here, if I don't run off the edge of a of this bridge here, I want to see if there's any... No, no, no! Spyro, Spyro, no! Do not get stuck. Thank you. Whew, that was slightly scary. All right, don't worry. Still got 12 lives left. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Yeah, the first first phase is fairly easy. You can press the uh, L1 and R, L1 R1, do a rolling move uh, that is very helpful against vert verticular verticular attacks as opposed to horizontalular attacks, which he's going to. Oh wait, no, he does not. That's right. I, boom. I forgot what his second phase was. I thought his second phase was the uh, sweeping attack, so I jumped. No, this one he just turns around, exposes his back to you, and. Um, Obviously, it's pretty simple. Attack him when he's showing his back. I think we can all figure that out fairly easily. Here we go. There you are. There's that. 
the horizontal attack I was talking about. Got him. Dr. Shemp is is the dead. He's he's dead now. Cause I'm good at this. All right, so now I need to make sure there shouldn't be any more gems down here. Let's get these last few gems here. Man, Sparks could really use some fodder, but we're not gonna get any. Locked chest right here. Let's go ahead and open it, because we're awesome like that. It's 25 more. There's another chest. No, nope, I'm dead. Yay. Does that mean Shemp doesn't respawn? No, okay. Thank goodness they don't respawn the uh, boss when you die. After, of course, you've killed the boss. They do reset his uh, phases if you die while you're still fighting him. So, like I've, I was trying to show you guys. <laughs> All right, now let's drop when we're on safe ground. One there, one there, and one last cooking mama. And I think that should be it. Yeah, 300 gems, one dragon, and um, we're almost done. We're, we're actually we are done with uh, the peacekeepers. We can actually head on to the next world and see how many gems I can get before I come up on my little 15-minute time limit I try to put on myself. Don't die, Spyro. I'm probably gonna lose all these lives just on um, just just falling off of ledges alone. I'm always a little bit too impatient when it comes to Spyro. But we are officially done with the Peacekeepers, so now we can head off to the Magic Crafters homeworld, which is actually a fairly cool homeworld. Um, I do like this one. It's a lot, obviously, Magic Crafters. There's going to be a lot of magic people. What's up, Gos Gosnold? I can't, believe how I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Of course I'm ready. Wait, no, no, gosh. Why is stay here the default option? Magic crafters, let's go there because there you go. This is also the land we're going to get a new attack. I don't remember, no, yeah, this, we get it in the hub world too. Um, trying to think about what else, what else do we need? We're gonna see a lot of dragons uh, there's a couple of cool realms here as well. We also need to deal with a lot of new enemies. We need 300 gems, three dragons, and an egg, which if I can get to it, got him. Whew, cut corners and you'll get that guy. He takes wide turns. So there we go, fifth dragon egg, we did it. And yeah, not much longer. What he does to escape you is he jumps up on that ledge that Spyro can't, uh, that Spyro can't access, so it's a good way to get a get away from him. So here we've got a few different people. We've got these like voodoo tiki people who just who have who have metal armor, metal robe things, um, and they take pot shot swings at you as you go by. So be careful about that. Luckily, there's plenty of fodder in home world hub worlds. Third twenty nine. Never mind. Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. So basically what I've been doing this entire time. Thank you, Cosmos. I can't remember, I was thinking that, that immediately brought my mind to Sonic X. That, uh, I think she's only called Cosmo, though. The, uh, whatever the hell that creature is that Tails basically has an affair with. That's always a weird part of that show. You're dead, and I forgot how to get you down. Because I can't, I mean, it's too high for me to do any fire attacks on. Let's just go ahead and get as many gems as possible. Damn it, I hate magic. These magic people are annoying as crap. So I'm gonna deal with them much later. Get back here. Got them both, wow. So that's how that's done. Alpine Ridge, that's the first level we're gonna be going through. And no, I'm not going there now. I want to say, yeah, there it is. There's a uh, treasure chest that requires a key. Um, we don't have the key yet, but I did find the treasure chest already. How come I keep missing you? 
sucks really bad. Okay, sheep. Oh, we also got this dude. No, oh, where are you going? You figure eight. Boom, got him. There we go, another egg. We got both of the eggs from this hub world, I believe. If there's a third one, I'm gonna be very surprised. There's not. No need to worry about that. I should get another fodder thing. You, gave up a dragon. I mean, a butterfly. Idiot magic wielder. He's too busy focusing on that one little ledge that he's got lifted that he can't get the other, can't, uh, can't lift another ledge to save his own life. Boom. Whew. I hate when they put those enemies that you have to charge into right next to a ledge. I don't want to have to charge into, I mean, charge into an enemy that's right next to a ledge, obviously. All right, so here we go. We've got our new attack here, which I'm sure that dragon will explain. So I'll go ahead and grab these, uh, last few gems here and dragon explain to me the supercharge attack Zantor that's an awesome dragon when name you see arrows like these you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge supercharge excellent go ahead try it supercharges are obviously extra powerful charge attacks they also allow you to go faster um, so any timed any sort of timed thing is very help is very much helped by these supercharged arrows. You can actually compound superchargers on each other, as we're going to be seeing. I don't know if there's any in the, if they're in this world or if it's in a different one, but they also allow you much faster, um, much much bigger glides. They can also destroy these boxes in one hit, as you may have noticed. I did destroy one of those chests. Uh, without having to release the gem and then catch it myself. Baldar. Baldar the this Dragon Man. This leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. Alright, so we're going this way. So we got a few more things we need to deal with. For example, this treasure chest, which I can't remember if there's a, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No lightning. Lightning bad. Die. He did hit me though. <laughs> that was bad. Um, yeah, now we gotta deal with all these lightning people. Later we're gonna be coming against enemies that have, like, blizzard powers and all this cra- it's, it's annoying. Trust me. All right, the key should be right in here. So there's the key. We can go get that uh, treasure chest if we want it now. I'm gonna come down this way. I'm trying to remember if there's a firework that I need to... Nope, Wizard Peak. I need to, I, I think I have to supercharge that, don't I? Well, that sucks, this is gonna be difficult. All right. So there's also those um, big chests those require, I don't know if they require, but uh, they can be broken by supercharges. Before we were using um, simple, got it, there we go, 25 gems. Uh, before we were using only like fireworks to destroy those types of chests. Now, I don't know where the rest of these, there's two of them, where the rest of these gems are gonna be. I think we're almost out of real estate here. I think I've also destroyed all of the enemies. Here, let's go ahead and just grab that chest and see where we're at then. Because uh, we should be fairly close. There we go. All right, got an extra life. So, and a uh, treasure chest here. How many gems is this gonna give us? It's not gonna give us enough. Not even close to enough. All right, I gotta just go find the rest of these enemies that I'm missing. I'm assuming it's the enemies that I'm missing. I right, did I? Hmm. Let, I'm trying to think where the rest of these gems are. We might have to finish up collecting gems later because for the life of me, I can't remember where they are. There's the balloonist. There they are. Oh man, there's a whole section I forgot to go into. That's something that might um, help me collect gems, you know. If I go that way. 
Come on, come on, Spyro. Use your special jump attack here. And turn around and supercharge. I love supercharge. Supercharge is awesome. It's such a it's such a useful attack. It's also very useful for going uh getting around levels very quickly. Yeah, this should this should just about get us all the way to 300. As long as you guys don't kill me. You guys almost killed me. But I got sparks back cuz I'm awesome like that. Am I done? 299 and 300. All right, so we got all the gems in the next part. We are going to be moving on to the first level, which I remember was called Alpine Ridge. So, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and a favorite and a comment because it all helps the series out. Um, yeah, I'm having tons of fun with this series. I hope you guys are as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.